Hi, this slide uh, fleshes out uh, a concept I alluded to earlier to help get across uh, a concept that seems a little bit paradoxical. How can you have the absolute best service value and yet have the lowest cost to serve? Most people think about, well, if you want to have more service, you sort of put more butter in the batter. So your costs go up with your service value proposition as opposed to they go in different directions, leaving you a very high sustainable profit, which is the difference between the two uh, as a happy byproduct. So I, what I'm going to do is, is sort of blend some free market wisdom with, uh, with uh, sports. Uh, when you look at decathletes uh, in track and field, they've come up with an event where it's just a gentleman's agreement that all these guys are, have to compete in all 10 events. And so they have sort of an all-round build for doing these things. So they, they're mediocre performers at every event compared to a world-class performer. Uh, now, in the free market, there isn't, if we're mediocre at 10 different niches, you know, the 10 div niches don't get together and say, well, you know what, you're best overall, not for me, but you're the best overall, so we're going to give you all the business and give you last look and extra point or two. It just doesn't happen. In free markets, what happens is um, the, the distinctly number one best you know, service value provider winds up getting a good 50 to 80 percent of all the volume. And if they think in terms of the profit, they can get even higher because they can actually develop more profit on top of the, the profit that locked in at the normal volume. So they're getting the gold. And the number two guy often, because they have to sort of compete and imitate number one, uh, and they really don't have a vision of the niche and what service value equations is trying to compete and imitate, say me too, me too, and I got a lower price. Uh, they'll often get about 20% of the business, but a lot of it has to do because both the manufacturers and the customers sort of conspire to keep that number two viable because manufacturers don't like to sell to one distributor who controls a the market. They like to have a, an alternative and ditto with customers. Nobody likes to buy from monopolists. They just get concerned about it. So there's always going to be a number two and that's not a bad thing. But the rest of them, you know, can be active and get crumbs here and there. But basically for all their time and energy, they really put them in, into that niche. They're losing money on it. Now back to the sports analogy, uh, the decathletes lose to the specialists because the, the, the specialists have perfect an anatomical match to the event. They have no excess baggage. If you put a marathoner up against a world-class shot putter, you don't have any problem at picking which is which. And they don't even bother to get in each other's business because the, 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 the marathon guy's got, you know, no... Everything is just geared towards legs and aerobic capacity going forever. And the shot putter is all that upper body weight that you don't want to lug 26 miles. Uh, in addition, the protoplasm that is in the body has been perfectly tuned to the challenge through working out three, four, five, six hours a day at just that particular kind of, uh, of, of situation. As a result, pound for pound, you're going to get the absolute best output that's like service value, the highest service value for the least cost to serve or the least amount of input or stress on the body. Um, so when it gets to distributors, do we have the best reps selling the right agenda service value solutions to the right best customers that have a future uh, in, 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 what a, in a, a way it's appropriate for the life cycle stage, which I'm assuming is the service value chain story. Um, on top of that, for those 555, do we have a total team focus on them? Uh, empowered, yes, heroic uh, acts possible. Uh, and service uh, for the whales as opposed to the minnows get a totally different service experience uh, which will allow us to make a profit if they hang around. When we look at our warehouse, is it is it is it scaled up for skids and cases to go after big volume or is it scaled to go after and located to go after whole tail, come in, pick yourself kind of stuff for, for minnows. So this is a fasten all store versus, you know, a genuine metal building warehouse back in some warehouse district that's, you know, eight left-hand turns from the freeway or something. Um, so that's how we can be an event specialist, but then you realize that because you're so good at one event, you have a certain kind of warehouse, location, everything else that doesn't necessarily take care of another niche. They're mutually exclusive. Thank you.